Greetings! Last time I took apart the uh, Elephone P8000 phone, there was two cameras inside and I found another one which is from a slightly old, older phone and it's significantly bigger so I thought let's take them apart completely and see how are those cameras made inside because they're quite interesting modules so if you're interested come and join me and here is the first camera this is the main camera from the Elephone P8000 and that's the sensor of it and next to it we've got the lens assembly and this is what uh, we'll be taking apart today to see how is it made and what's inside more for most part of it the top case came off rather easy and it's attached still by a little wire there's a springy wire this is going here to the plastic that was in between the sensor and the lens assembly where the infrared filter is attached you can see the pinkish tint green and pink this has got some sort of focusing mechanism coil around the lens so I'm just going I'm, I will break those wire because it's just too difficult otherwise to navigate this so this is the part that was at the very bottom and there's nothing, not much in there, it's just a piece of plastic, it was, it's a base and infrared filter. And this bit contains far more interesting stuff. So there's a decent sized lens in here, it's about 7 or 8 millimeters in diameter, this lens here. Someone commented that this possibly could be used with um, another camera as a macro lens. So I'm gonna give it a shot today and see if that works out. There has to be more than one lens in here. And there is assembly. I presume that the little metals in the corners, the triangle shaped ones, uh, are magnets. Uh, which will interact with the coils that are wound up around and move the lens a little bit. So let's try to dig this out from there. Okay, it's out, and yes, those are magnets, because if I take something magnetic, I've got a screw here, you can see clearly it uh, does attract to it. My tweezers are non-magnetic, so they won't, they won't get affected. And this was moving up and down uh, to focus on the image. Okay, let's shine some laser light through it, so we can see what's happening with the lens when the light passes through it, and I've got a little laser pointer here and that should do the trick so yes if I shine a light through it of course on the camera you won't be able to see much but to visualize it I've got a trick up my sleeve and just with some help of artificial smoke You can see when there is just enough smoke around where is the focal point of the lens and you can see how nicely it is focusing stuff of course the same thing happens when I shine uh, the light through the other side it's just the focal point on the other side is in a slightly different place it just happens to be quite a bit closer I wonder why there is this sort of pattern around. It would make sense if they had a few cutouts maybe for when uh, it's being handled by machine, but I would have thought that the pattern is a bit more regular and this is almost sort of a keyway. So I'm not sure why this pattern is here like this. If anyone knows, please do leave a comment, I'll appreciate that. So let's try to pry this apart. I think I'll first remove the coil from it, maybe that will reveal something. And I'll just cut the coil in one spot. It's very thin wire, so it went off easily. And we are free of the coil. Then we've got this metal part around, I'm not sure what that is, maybe some sort of spring, maybe it was for contacts. Those are definitely two different pieces of plastic, so will we'll this uh, unscrew? 
Okay, yes it does, and it took a little bit of forcing it, but eventually it did separate and still both of the lenses are stuck together. Yeah, you can see the thread on the inside and there's a little bit of thread here, so it was threaded in. So I had to cut off a few pieces to gain access to the lens and now with a little bit of luck should be able to pry it apart from the rest of the assembly. There we go. Okay, so there's three. There are three lenses um, in this. Oh, four. So we've got those little, those little black things are just very thin, and we've got this lens here. This was on top of this one, and I've just dropped both of them. They're all plastic lenses, but they're reasonably good quality because, you know, if you do a 5 or 8 megapixel picture through a, such a small lens, it has to be good quality, otherwise it will... Well, the picture is just gonna be rubbish. So, let's try the laser again and see how each of those will interact with the light. Here is the first one, so it will be this one here. This was the closest to the sensor. So clearly this one is uh, dispersing the light. Uh, actually when I shine the laser through uh, through this on a wall it presents a very big circle only just maybe a meter away so um, yeah it's dispersing, it's not focusing and it's an unusual lens because it's uh, concave on this side and on the other side it appears convex, it appears to have a top but it's not uniform in that um, actually when you look at it there is yeah there's a bit of an effect over here in the middle there is a there is a valley so it's concave in the middle it's convex like up to here and then it goes down and yeah there is like a little bit of a drop over here and that's fine so we've got next one and this is feels like concave on one side a little bit and very convex on the other so let's try the laser again this one is definitely focusing very short focal length only maybe um, four or five millimeters if that this feels almost flat on one side and con convex on the other this one has got focal point maybe about 10 millimeters away from it and let's try this last one this one is almost flat so not much uh, doing there uh, I wonder what effect will it have Okay, it is focusing, but it's focusing, it's got very long focal length. Let me see if I can move it out, I'll zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so this one, that's got uh, about maybe five, five centimeters or maybe more of focal length on this. So very long focal length. And that's what's inside your little camera module in your mobile phone. If you were wondering, I'm surprised that there is actually four lenses in there. One more last thing. I'm wondering, this biggest one, possibly, could use it as a macro lens. That was the idea, because the other ones are just much too small. Then let's give it a shot. Alright, so I'm holding the lens just with some white tack. And let's see if we can get any any picture. But uh, I'm already seeing that that's not going to be very good. I'm going to start recording if I get a nice picture. And then paste the video. Okay, this is the biggest one. I've tried, but it's I'm not getting any luck with it. It's just not happening. Maybe that's because of that weird shape that's meant to be specific for that one, that uh, this setup. Let's try this module that I've got over here. You can see this one is significantly larger than the other one. And this module is uh, from an old mobile phone and as far as my memory serves me right, I think this was Nokia N95. It seems like there is an outer shell and then the module sits within that. 
so we'll remove that and that was just held with a few clips I've bent the case open in a couple of spots and that released itself it was just clipped in the first thing that comes to mind is this little plate here because yeah it doesn't seem to be held with anything okay, I think the flat fix can come off quite easily there we go and we've got what looks like ceramic substrate this wasn't held very well but it came off nicely but yeah that's ceramic so okay already you can see more expensive module I thought this was metal but it's actually not it's actually uh, metalized plastic and there was I had to go really brutal on it on top of it we have a very thin piece of glass it might be just for protection reasons so let's put that to the side and here is the module itself and yeah uh, it looks a whole lot different than the previous one so we've got this whole assembly that is moving one little guide there's a guide rail over here and again we've got yeah, some magnets electromagnets over here there's another big difference this one has got a shutter so there is a shutter in here I'm not sure whether this will move the shutter no uh, but yeah this here is a very thin plastic shutter I think I've got to I'll just cut off the top bits over here of the plastic and that should we should be able to slide it off like this and now this should come out there we go oh that's interesting that lens has got the same sort of feature as the other one we've got the sensor here with I think the infrared filter right above it the lens has got the same sort of thing where it's convex and concave at the same time right maybe that's all mobile phone cameras one lens here well it is an assembly not a lens so it's again this sort of arrangement where there's gonna be more than one and here we have a tiny little coil electromagnet and that's actuating the shutter let's see if we can get it moved so those are different irises okay so this one has got a darkened uh, filter this can have it open and this can have it closed completely so there you go so there must be two electromagnets yes there is two there is one here tiny little one and one more here and actuating two two little shutters that's quite interesting I'm seeing quite a bit of glue on the edges so this might be a bit more difficult to take apart a little bit more of uncareful prying apart and eventually it does come apart I had to cut it open and there we go there is so there is four lenses again again this convex concave thing I'm not sure what to make of it this one actually also has that sort of shape convex concave it seems that this is common across mobile phone cameras I didn't know that um, now in terms of this prying this off of the ceramic substrate it's not happening it's a very thin substrate and it's been glued on so when I'm trying to pry it open I'm going to crack the substrate anyways so it's best left this way but nonetheless it's a pretty looking sensor they've got so many colors yeah if you were wondering whether you could use one of those lenses for a mobile phone microscope DIY thing uh, possibly you could but uh, I think you get far better results with the lens from a DVD drive like I've shown in one of my previous videos that's it for this thank you very much for staying with me this long if you're still here and please subscribe for more random electronics related stuff make sure to give me a like on this video I really appreciate that and please do leave some comments and for the time being take care